Hey guys, so I want to talk about references in a Revit family and kind of what their effects are when you bring them into a model. So there's a variety of different references, and you can see a couple here uh, that start off. Uh, generally, when you create a new project, you, you have two. And you can see this is the center left right reference, and then this is a center front back reference, and they're both pinned pinned down. Now, you may draw references uh, all over the place depending on the geometry that you're creating, but for this instance, I may put some up at the top, the bottom, the left, and the right. To start off, what I'm going to do is just draw some references. So, I'm going to do RP for reference plane, and then over here to the left, we have some options. Now these are predefined references uh, right here, and you can create your own. So we have right, front, center, back. Now you can go in there after you draw a reference and actually change it. But for now, what we're going to do is pick a weak reference. We'll actually draw that in. And then what we can do is come in here and then update this reference. We can just say test. And uh, that's pretty helpful when you're trying to organize this element you know when you're creating it it you know keeps you a little bit more organized when you have references that are named you know you know what's the front reference or if it pertains to a specific thing you kind of know what's going on now when you do draw this reference down here there is um because all you've done essentially is change the name of that reference but it's still a weak reference. Now, if you want to update it, you can update it to a strong or not a reference or even switch it to one of these other ones. But um, I want to show you kind of what the difference is between them. So we're just going to take this test one, and we'll just call this uh, test, or actually we'll change this to top weak. And then we're going to copy this. So I click C and then the space bar to copy that. So now we have this one, and we'll call this one bottom weak. And just to verify, we'll come over here and check that that's a weak reference. Now, these two reference planes, uh, since we are changing things, are uh, generally the default ones. If you click into these, you can actually see what reference they are. And um, you can see they're not a reference currently. It's because I've changed it. So you can come in there and turn off the default to a, to a uh, non-reference. And um, pretty much what the, the differences of these are is they kind of prioritize the way that you dimension it. So a weak re reference isn't prioritized um, or is less um, of a priority than a strong reference when you're dimensioning it. And then same with the uh, references like the center and left right reference. And <clears throat> first, we'll, I'll just show you, we'll load this into the project and I'll do a dimension, so I'll press DI. And then up here is our weak reference, and you can see weak reference, top, weak. And then down here at the bottom is our bottom weak reference. You can see that in the description. Now, with these, you can see that as well. You can see, though, that it's a center left, and then it says center left. So, um, when they're those type of references, some of the default ones, those actually have a higher priority prioritization than even a strong one and to show you that we'll actually jump back in here and we'll see this middle one and we can draw another reference plane so RP for the keyboard shortcut come in here draw a strong reference and I'll show you in a minute kind of what's going on um, with these two so the weak ones when we draw a strong one over there It'll actually uh, do the same thing. So 
first what we're going to do is load this in and take a look at that. So we'll go into the dimension tool again. So DI, we'll hover over this and see that it's still a, le a center left right, center left right reference. And we'll actually have to tab into it to get that strong reference. And you can see that there. So strong re or those default references do override uh, as a priority um, priority reference, you know, over the um, strong, and then you have your weak ones. So if we come back into this, we can actually draw a weak reference. So RP, come over here, change this to a weak reference. Draw another one. We'll overwrite the existing version. We'll do DI again for uh, the uh, dimension tool. And we'll see, again, It, it, it uh, the description says it's the center left, right. Tab into it, it's the strong. Tab into it again, and it's the weak reference. Now, generally, you're not putting references on top of references, but um, um, you may, you know, wonder kind of why you would, you know, even care about weak or strong or even the default references it's because like when you're dimensioning things you may want to prioritize or or focus you know you know you have an element that you generally dimension at specific points you may want to prioritize those you want those to kind of pop up first uh, before maybe another reference does so that somebody doesn't accidentally um, dimension the wrong um, uh, point that's one example of, of doing this. Another thing is kind of keeping your overall uh, element uh, organized and whatnot. So we'll take this weak ref. Or actually, we'll draw a couple strong references over to the, the right and the left. So we'll do RP for reference plane. We'll come over here and just change this to, to be a strong reference. <clears throat> And we'll just pick a point, any point really, and just draw it down. We'll click on that, press MM for the mirror tool, click there. And now we have two strong, or actually, let's make sure. So we have a strong over here. This default uh, to weak when we mirrored it, so we just switch that to strong. So now we have two strong references that we'll dimension to when we get into the project. And then we have a weak reference here, and then a weak one at the bottom. So we'll just rename these just so that we're a little bit more organized. So we'll say this is the left underscore strong. And then we'll do right underscore strong. And then now um, we'll actually take a look at not a reference. So this one is not a reference already. And we already know this one is a reference. So what, what we're going to do is just delete the ones that aren't uh, penned, which is that main one. So now we only have one reference sitting here. And we deleted the other two, the strong and the weak one. So right now, um, we have it uh, set to center, left, right. Now we're going to switch these. We're going to say, hey, this is um, going to be a weak reference now. And this is going to be not a reference anymore. Now before I show you that, what we'll do is jump back into this. We'll go to dimension, and you can see it highlights this strong reference, or this center left right reference. And then we can't, um, <clears throat> we cannot highlight the horizontal reference. So we'll go back just make sure we have a weak reference here, and we have not a reference here. And just for visuals, we'll actually draw another one right here, and we'll just call that a strong reference. Load that in, overwrite, and now you can see that in the vertical, we can't we can't dimension that no more, but we can dimension this um, this weak reference so this center front back weak reference and then you can see we can dimension this strong reference as well so they're both there again um, you may find where you're drawing 
you know, you may have a flexible family that uh, potentially, you know, um, is on top of another reference. It's always, references are, are just good in general to put in your families because they allow for more con flexibility, but they also allow um, for the family to run a little bit more efficiently. Uh, you won't have uh, those problems where the family doesn't f flex correctly. So you may find instances where you're putting multiple references in the same location, and you'll just want to prioritize the ones that you want to, to mention to. <clears throat> so we'll just jump back in here. So this is a um, strong reference, weak reference, um, strong, and then another strong, and then these two weak ones, the top and the bottom one. So hopefully it kind of helps you out with those references. You know, it's all dependent on the way that you're creating your family. Uh, just keep in mind, if you if you wanted to mention it, then try to make it a strong family. If not, then make it a weak one or, you know, not a reference at all. Uh, and thanks a lot for watching.